Hi guys, it's Brej and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is a little bit different than my usual content where I usually talk about fashion, um, especially sustainable fashion. However, today we're going to talk about hair and sometimes we're going to talk about skin because I feel like you can't really do fashion without beauty. So I've been really trying to work on the beauty aspect of fashion, which I'm not really strong at like in terms of like makeup I'm not the best and it's just not something that I like that much anyways um, like right now I have makeup that is very light I have like I have like eyebrow pencil I have foundation and I have blush and that's it <laughs> because I want to like enhance my beauty but like the most natural way possible like i'm not a person who's like that into makeup but i do understand that beauty um and fashion really go hand in hand and so i really i'm working currently on my skin because i have extremely acne prone skin and i'm also working on my hair because i have extremely fine and thin hair and those are two different things because fine hair is like when we talk about the actual strand of hair itself instead of being like thick and coarse uh, mine is extremely just skinny just almost invisible and my hair is thin because i lack density so let's say the average person has like a thousand hair hair strands just an example i don't know what the number actually is but let's say the average person has a thousand strands i have like 300 strands or maybe not 300 like 450 so my density is very 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 low um, so my whole life I had a really hard time being able to wear my natural hair um, and wear it like without extensions I've always loved the look of natural hair on me however I couldn't do it without extensions and I will insert photos here um, if I find any like every time I travel I try to wear like more natural hair styles but they're all clip-ins and I wish my hair could do that and it didn't and now I'm getting closer to being able to do that so all that to say that today I am trying something that I have never done before and that is a wash and go uh, I've wash and gone <laughs> uh, in the sense where um, I can insert a video here where I did a wash and go but I literally just washed my hair and let it dry <laughs> and it dried into that and obviously I've picked it up a little bit to give the volume uh, but like that's, that's literally a wash and go but the YouTube definition of natural hair wash and go is more you know of a styling wash and go and I've never done that and so this is the result of that wash and go after I fluffed it up um, I know that right now it's frizzy and some people don't like frizz but I personally do because like I said I don't have density and when my hair is frizzy it gives the illusion of volume and so earlier it was a little bit more you know clumped together which was nice and stuff if you're looking for definition but I'm looking for the illusion of volume because I don't have any and so if you guys like this video and you want to follow me on my hair journey and all my other journeys in general um, please give this video a thumbs up if you're a fine girl who has fine hair like myself uh, leave a comment down below let's create a community let's make it okay to have fine hair because not everybody on YouTube is like natural 85 which I love Whitney but not all of us have like the density that she does uh, that she has and that a lot of natural hair youtubers have so I want to make it okay more mainstream for girls that have fine hair like me to be okay with wearing it out so yeah if you like that stay <laughs> by giving it a thumbs up and subscribing and I'll see you in the next one bye hey so we have switched to voiceover here you see me washing my hair i was just co-washing because i didn't want to shampoo because i already shampooed the night before and i was not gonna shampoo it again because obviously that would make my hair extremely dry which we can't do because my hair is already dry from all the dyeing that i did this summer in this clip you can see my hair about 20 minutes later it's like it's already dried my hair dries so fast um, and so I started by separating my hair. 
um, initially I separated it into three sections but later on you will see that three section was not enough because it's much easier to work with smaller sections and so to start this process I was using water so I just start by spritzing water all through my hair I wanted my hair to be wet I wanted it to be drenched but not dripping and so every time my hair will dry you will see me add some more water um, so in this whole process I only use basically three product if you can, if you can consider water as a product um, so the first product is obviously the Eden curl defining cream and then followed by the eco styler gel obviously and third one is obviously water that you see me using quite a lot so here I'm finally separating my hair further and you will see me spritz it again with water because believe it or not it was already dry and um, the Eden um, curl forming cream thing I've never used it before the smell is okay like it's not a bad smell it's definitely a good smell um, but there's products that I like better like Cantu products <clears throat> no shame um, in terms of smell like but in terms of like how it made my hair feel like so good it felt so moisturized right away and it was freaking out um, however like you see my hair was drying so fast I had to add more water because you really want it to be wet if you want definition you want it to be wet it says on the packaging that you can use it on dry hair which honestly I don't understand how because on dry hair I don't see how this can give you definition on dry hair because on wet hair it was barely giving me any de definition I mean the curls were popping the curls were coming through but they were super frizzy so you see me adding product again and again and again hoping for the curls to somehow pop and you see me here separating the curls to see maybe it will give me you know more of the definition I was looking for but honestly it was in vain not that the product is not good because it's definitely good but I don't believe it's good alone um, as you can see the curls were there but extremely frizzy and if you're going for a wash and go that's frizzy that's fine if you plan on not separating the curls I guess that's fine but I wanted to see how defined the curls could be so that I can have the freedom to separate them and so I went ahead and added the gel if you can see here in this clip I'm adding the gel and every curl is being clumped and it was beautiful I cut the part where I was panicking but I was like freaking out because it was so beautiful I've never seen my hair do this ever before and here is a closer look you can see the curls are very defined very separated they're still a bit frizzy that's just because at the beginning I wasn't adding enough gel simply because I was very very afraid of how it will dry I did not want it to be like to have like a white cast I didn't want it to be hard either so I was just going with the flow but eventually I did realize that it was okay for me to add gel because the hair was drying so fast that I could see that the one that was drying was fine it was drying clear and so yeah same process you just spritz water you add the cream if it's still if your hair is like mine and dries very fast just add water you, like water I think helps so much with defining the curl and separating them and hydrating the hair especially for hair that has been dyed like three times in one month that's my hair it's extremely fried I was so shocked that the curls were formed because I I didn't believe that I had curls because of how just damaged my hair is but apparently I still do so that's that and as you can see like just look at this the minute I added gel clumpness clumpness and it was just beautiful and to make the curls pop more obviously you have to go through with separating because if you just leave it there you're just gonna get like a big ball of nothing um, so yeah all right so um, here I'm just going through you know the next section and I just want to shout out my edges y'all like this may look like nothing to most people or it may even look like I'm missing edges but this is a result of hard work <laughs> like 
this is how my edges looked like last month so and my whole life to be quite honest because I've never been able to grow edges and I don't know why um, but finally I think I found the formula to get this edges restored as you can see there's a random ass curl forming on my basically forehead and you know that little dark spot that's like on on the side it's it's a curl it's weird but it's so cute um yeah so yeah so i'm just gonna go through uh the rest of my hair um oh i'd like to shout out my my roommate for allowing me to use his mic for this voiceover shout out to joe <laughs> And uh, yeah, here's a clip of uh, just a close up so you can see the curls are separated. There's still a little frizz, like I said, because I was so scared to use gel. Next time, I won't be so scared because it's so easy to get, you know, rid of the cast that the gel does live. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I finally got to the front section, which was quite a challenge for me to be quite honest because I've always known this, my front section has no curl pattern. Um, I don't know why, um, it has a completely different texture. If the rest of my hair feels like a 4B, I don't know what, I actually don't know what my hair texture is. Um, my hair type is, I know it's a type 4, but if the rest of my hair was a 4B, my front section is definitely like a C. It is so much coarser and it just refuses to curl. And as you can see, I had to work so, so, so hard to get it curled. I added more gel at my front section than I did the rest of my hair, just because I was praying that when it dries, you know, the gel would work some magic and I would get some curl, which I did. It was actually not bad. It was obviously a looser curl than the rest of my hair, but it was a curl nonetheless. So. I was happy with the final result and so here I am just using the same process separating it and voila this is the result when I was done and it was you know dry it's so weird that my front section hair looks so long it looks longer than the rest of my hair it makes no sense because it's actually shorter than the rest of my hair so that just goes on to show that it does not curl as you can see, my front doesn't curl as much as like the rest of my hair. Um, this area here just doesn't curl. <laughs> it's like hopeless. Um, and I don't want to put too much gel on it because I don't want it to be crunchy. You can see this one is already dry, so it's shrunken. Um, so we're going to wait for it to dry. And then see the result. At the end, yeah. We'll be right back three hours later right so this was the result about two and a half hours later most of my hair was dry but um, you will see later on that the roots weren't actually as dry as I thought as they were uh, but it did dry clear later on um, I was extremely surprised that I didn't get as much shrinkage as I was expecting because yes my hair is shrunken but not as much as it usually normally does if I just naturally left it alone to dry. So I was freaking out. I was like, this is great. As you can see, you can see some of the residue actually because it wasn't dry. But once it was dry, it was totally clear. So I would definitely do this again. As you can see, the curls are extremely defined, but I was not going for definition. So I decided to take olive oil. What am I saying, olive oil? I decided to take coconut oil and use it to basically separate my curls, like just the cast, because it did feel a little bit, 
you know crispy <laughs> so because of the gel um, but once I use the olive oil it loosened that cast so well um, I wanted to create frizz because like I said I don't have volume and I take it wherever I can get it the curls are fine the curls are beautiful however they don't give me the look that I desire so I proceeded to applying the coconut oil everywhere just to get a get rid of the hardness of the gel which honestly was not as bad as I thought it would be this was definitely wearable the hair had movement and so you see me here using uh, the comb to kind of lift my roots to give even more volume this is probably like the second time I've done this in my life I didn't know what the F I was doing I was doing what I usually see other youtubers do um, but it worked gave me whatever I wanted and give me the results so yeah I fluffed it and you can obviously wear it with like a middle part but for me even though I'm more of a metal part middle part girl for my natural hair just for the length that it is I hate the middle part because I find it such an awkward style because my hair doesn't fall down I don't know it's not my cup of tea so anyways here I'm showing you how it was still wet um, so what I ended up doing is basically have my hair pulled back because when you pull the front back and you cover that like that middle part it gives the illusion of more volume and like I said anything that gives me volume I'm all for it and so you can see me in the next video just doing exactly what I said I would do pull my hair back to create that little lump at the front which gives the illusion of like fuller hair uh, it's all about illusions over here in the, in the fine fine hair community it's all about creating illusions and I eventually like lay my edges um, but not too harshly because I don't like when it looks too perfect um, and also because I don't have many edges like I said I'm growing my edges so I don't like to put too much uh, too many products on it I like to keep them light and so yeah that's the hairstyle guys I thoroughly enjoy it I will do this again uh, if like I had an event or someone to go to and I know my hair dries in two hours like honestly I'll do this again um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one bye